So today we are at the Wichita Classic BTQ at North Rock Lanes in Wichita, Kansas. They have eight games this morning on Billy Hardwick to be able to make, I believe it's the top 10 or top 12. I'm gonna go double confirm that number. Uh, but eight games, this building is packed. There's four to a pair and they're using three to 40, I believe, or three to 48. So a lot of bowlers, a lot of bowling. Let's get into it. PBA, Bull TV. I told him that you were gonna mess with your seven. Oh. I would have rode the ball return. <laughs> Thank you. 
game update. I didn't want to give you guys a game one update because the game one went really fast. To start off with, we have David Kroll going at 236, or 233 to 266 for 99 over, taking the lead currently. And we have Spencer Robarsh, Tom Mc Thomas McNeil, Brandon Collins, Zachary Wilkins, Ildemar Ruiz, Zeke Bate, David Northhouse, Joseph Grondon, Eric Jones, Chris Sloan, and Nate Garcia. Currently the cut number at plus 51. They are playing kind of tricky. Everybody's trying to play in different zones and everybody's trying to play different angles just to kind of give themselves their own little area to kind of confine themselves to, uh, which is also creating the problem of the breakdown and topography, making it a lot harder for those players to do so. So we have a lot of people playing the outside part of the lane. We have a lot of people trying to swing some of the lane. Uh, realistically, this game is all about launch angles and ball speed. So whoever has the best launch angles, whoever has the best ball speed, and whoever can hit the right pairs the right way, because uh, we do have a couple pairs that have just not looked very good, uh, is basically who can win this game. So six more games to go. Here we go.
Kroll still leading at 130 over. Uh, then we have Eldemar Ruiz, Zachary Wilkins, Nate Garcia, Nathan Bohr, Tim Wallaby, Ben Sobel, Sam Anderson, Thomas McNeil, Alec George, Benjamin Martinez, and Spencer Robarge. And he is currently at plus 64. They're just about through with game four right now, so we'll come back in a few minutes with your game four scoring update. Uh, but the numbers have definitely flip-flopped a little bit. A lot of people have jumped out of the number. A lot of people have jumped into the number. And I feel like it's just going to kind of be like that all the way to the very last game. Again, topography is kind of weird pair to pair and just trying to hit the right spot in the right moment is key right now. So having all the tricks possible is basically the key to this PTQ. Uh, they definitely are hooking a little bit more in the fronts, so they're getting a little squirrelier as the day goes on. But as long as the guys kind of figure out a good game plan to be able to keep it within, everybody's looking really good. As long as, again, having the tricks. takes the lead at plus 143 over. Then we have Eldemar Ruiz, David Kroll, Nate Garcia, Eric Jones, who made a big jump there. Chris Sloan, Zachary Wilkins, Alex George, Nathan Bohr, Ben Sobel, Thomas McNeil, and Benjamin Martin Martinez. Oh my God, I cannot even say my own last name the right way. Uh, I believe, it, yeah, they're finishing up game five right now. So they're through seven, eight, nine frames, kind of going across. It's a little bit hard because of the fact that some of the ends get done a little quicker, some don't. On to the next game. still leading at 153 over. Then we have Eldemar Ruiz, Nate Garcia, Zachary Wilkins, David Northhouse, uh, David Kroll, Nathan Bohr, Benjamin Martinez, Eric Jones, Zach Tackett, who jumped into the number of the 226 game, that last game, Thomas McNeil, and then Chris Sloan, who's currently at plus 88. So again, everybody's kind of figuring out what they need to do to be able to keep themselves within that certain zone and range to be able to strike enough to be able to jump into the number. And I think we have a really good idea of what's going to be happening. A lot of clean balls going down the lane, a lot of soft, slow roll to be able to get it in the pocket and get it to carry, which is the important part. So, on to the next game.
six games, we have Zach Wilkins taking the lead at plus 174. Then we have Ildemar Ruiz, Gambalabi, David Kroll, Eric Jones, David Northaus, Nathan Bohr, Chris Sloan, Nate Garcia, Alan Smith, who made a big jump with a 265, 239 in the last two games. So he gets a plus 82. We have Peter Fox and Zach Tackett. Zach Tackett being at plus 79. So the number has shrunk some. It was at plus 80 something, and now it's at plus 79. So, a few more games to go. They are just now starting game seven. Let's see what happens. Taking the lead at plus 191. He's currently 20, 18, 20 pins ahead of Eric Jones at 174 over. Then we have Ildemar Ruiz, David Kroll, Zachary Wilkins, Kim Ballaby, Russ Ovia, who jumped into the number. He shot 245, 227, 248 the last three games. Massive for him. Then we have Zeke Bate, Nathan Moore, Brian Robinson, who jumped up into the number with 212, 246. Austin Bolds, who shot 253 the last game, who jumped into the number. And Alan Smith, who's shot 265, 239, 218 the last three to get to plus 100. That's currently the cut number at number 12 is plus 100. One game to go. After this game, I'm just going to go ahead and post up the actual scores final uh, for you guys to see. So make sure you guys tune into the next video. Catch you guys next time.